The Asian Hall of Fame is an organization whose mission is to advance and celebrate Asian and indigenous legacy. And this weekend, they are holding their induction ceremony. So joining me right now is president and CEO of the organization, Maki Shea. Thank you so much for being here Thank once again. Thank you for again. having me back. You're awesome. Love it here. We are so excited to see you. But we also have a little bit of a change today. Yeah. We have the inductee at this year's ceremony, Adele Lim, joining us as well via Zoom. So great, huh? Thank you so much for being here. Oh no. Okay, so hopefully we can work on your audio because we can't hear you for some reason. But that's okay because we're going to start with you and then by the time we're done, hopefully we'll get that audio will, working. The magic will happen. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is like, you know, live TV, it does it. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the um, Hall of Fame. Um, just let everyone at home know what exactly this is, who does it benefit, mm -hmm. and why it's so important um, to make sure. We continue with diversity and inclusion. It's so important, Kalina. Well, Asian Hall of Fame is like all of the other halls of fames out there, like the Football Hall of Fame. Everybody knows <laughs> this one. And it's all about celebrating legacy. It's all about celebrating heritage. But it has this added responsibility, which is to get everybody together to overcome bias, senseless violence. We don't need the hate. We don't need all, all this terrible invasion and oppression and suppression that has continue to color our narrative for so long, not just with the Asian community, but our friends as well. So the induction ceremony, yes, it is a great celebration of luminaries and world-class artists and philanthropists, but it has that added mm -hmm. responsibility of, of really making a, a dramatic change for the future. Also, you know, I, I love the fact that we are talking about this outside of AAPI. Yes. Because yes. we always say, we always have those big pushes mm -hmm. during the, the, months, the months. But now we're outside of that month and we are still talking about it, which I think is lovely. And I think that's something that should be consistent. It's very interesting that you bring that up, Kalina, because we're seeing from a world scale, the things that happen in one region does have a direct impact on, on our lives and our communities and our zip code. And before COVID, maybe we're really into our neighborhood, really into our thing. COVID has shown us that we're all connected. Mm -hmm. All of us are global. All of us are connected in one way or the other. Asian Hall of Fame does that. It brings it to the elevated level, which is, hey, you can have a diversity of ethnicities and backgrounds. We have 30 that we represent, 30 regions, mm -hmm. including indigenous. 75% uh, of the world's indigenous live in Asia. So this Native American and indigenous connection is very important to us, and it's an ongoing effort to make sure that the stories are told and the narratives are heard. I love this. This is great. Okay, so I I think we have Adele oh, fantastic. now via Zoom. Check, check. Are you there? I'm here. Yay. Yay. Okay, this is so <laughs> exciting. Um, you have, I mean, hello, let's talk about impressive resume, Amazing. right? Um, you wrote the blockbuster film Crazy Rich Asians. You recently directed Joyride. What does it feel? First of all, how do you balance it all? And what does it <laughs> feel to be an inductee this year? Well, I, the balance is a hard thing. I'm also a mom. And for oh anyone my gosh. Who's out there, <laughs> yeah. You know, we know like when you're a working mom, somehow you always feel like you're failing at one or the other. Um, but I like to think that, you know, we're really setting a good, being a good role model for our kids. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of how it feels to be honored, this is overwhelming and humbling. Um, I'm an immigrant, and the only reason I have the opportunities I've had is because of this ongoing belief and support from our community and all these Asian and Asian American trailblazers who came before me. So to be recognized by that very same community is just especially meaningful. Do you have any advice for anyone at home that might be wanting to break into the industry but not really know how? I mean, we know the entertainment industry is probably one of the most difficult industries to break mm -hmm. into, let alone have a consistent you know, legacy or time frame on there. Do you have any advice? Well, yes, the industry is phenomenally difficult to break into, but I want to just say that, you know, I grew up in Malaysia in a town that nobody's ever heard of. I'm an immigrant. I came to this country when I was 19 uh, and had not a lot of money and no networking skills. And if I could find my way to Hollywood and to find a way uh, for my story to be told that you can, too. It's just maintaining that ambition, that drive, not giving up and having a good support system, which I feel like both of you do. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Thank I'm glad you. we got the Zoom working. You're amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. This is so exciting. Yes. And thank you so much for being thank here, you too. Thank so much, yes. We're going to put Happy all this up on our website at kcownews.com slash the morning wrap. All right. You. Thank, thank you.